Sore Show's back. We're having lunch, chit chatting. Yeah. What's oh, up, y'all? Gosh. That all just the corner weirdness is happening yeah. everywhere. The day right. before Halloween. Oh, that's because it's Halloween week. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. It's Halloween week, which I don't even, I cannot even believe that this week is the end of October. Mm. Did we not just do New Year's Eve? No. I no. swear, it feels like we just did New Year's Eve. The older you get, the time, the faster time goes. I don't know. Yeah. That's true. Anyway, what's up, y'all? Anybody got a word? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. our topic today is going to be about weird. <laughs> that just kind of came up last week. What well, is weird? That was the first thing that came to my mind when we were discussing that topic. What is weird? Who determines what's weird? Well, weird perception. Or, I mean, sometimes I feel really weird. <laughs> Here, you know what? The word weird actually gets such a negative connotation. It does. Because you'll go, oh, that's weird. Oh, she's weird. Oh, he's weird. That's weird. But when you look up the word weird, I love it. It's kind of magical. It's kind of like something uncanny, something mm -hmm. strange. Something like, supernatural. Something of witchcraft almost. So perfect to talk about before Halloween. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. It's funny. <laughs> Yeah, when, and when Carrie was talking about the word weird, I, I started thinking about like it's kind of like what is normal, you know? Mm -hmm. How, who, who's to say what weird is? Right. Who's to say what normal is? When does it cross that line? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who decides? My normal might be your weird. Uh -huh. Well, everything about me I think is weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't mean to say I've been saying weird because I just think I'm weird. But now that I know the definition, maybe I'm using the wrong word. Hmm. Because I'm not like a witchcraft. I'm not uncanny. I'm just like goofy. Maybe goofy is a better <laughs> word for me. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. sometimes you, you relate the word weird to how you feel. Mm -hmm. I feel weird. Mm -hmm. And that's important. When you when you do have those strange feelings about your body, nobody knows your body the way you do. That's so. true. Right. Aww. If you feel weird, you know, whether it's in your tummy, your chest, or in your head, it's things you need to listen to. Like so you felt the other night. You're like, I feel a little weird. Yeah, something's weird. <laughs> yeah. 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 When you look at the younger generation, you always want to be stranger than your parents or outside the norm. And then what happens is we all adopt that weirdness and we got to find something else. And going off of what Sheila just said is that, you know, that little feeling in your stomach, you know, when something feels weird and mm -hmm. something doesn't feel right. Y'all, this is just one of those little health tips or whatever is, is um, women especially go on that, please. If yeah. you're somewhere and you feel like something's not right mm -hmm. and, um, don't ignore the signs. Yeah, don't ignore the signs. Oh, that's right. Yes, a lot of times Southern women have trouble with that, especially like getting on an elevator with somebody and they feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and then they don't want to be rude. Right. Not get on the elevator. No, if something feels strange and weird, don't get on the elevator. Oh, your Just intuition is with. Follow that intuition. Oh, gosh, yeah. I, I'm, so I, you're exactly right. I thought you were referring to like if you don't ignore when well, you should go to the doctor or something. That's that too. too. But I love what you're saying is we think we shouldn't be rude to someone. If you don't feel comfortable, I'll catch the next elevator. Right. You're right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Or I don't think I'll go on this trip. Absolutely. I mean, going out true. to a dark parking lot and something feels weird, something feels strange, turn around and go back in the building. Exactly. Yeah. Listen to that. Mm -hmm. Female intuition is a very powerful very much so. Mm -hmm. As a wife, as a mom, as a woman in life, as a businesswoman, yeah, I don't think I will represent you. I don't think you're the right client for me. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing, too. Absolutely. Yeah. You just know. You're right. That's good. What else do we want to say about weird? What was your other point you made about weird? You well, thought it meant, um, like when I was saying, it's kind of about intuition, and you thought it meant, um, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Know your body. No, knowing exactly. your body. Yeah, when your body feels yeah. weird. like, And weird. that's so powerful. Nobody knows your body better than you do. Like, oh, I'm going to the bathroom more right. often. Or, mm. yes, I have this pain in my shoulder that's never been there. It feels weird. Again, as women, we try to put it off because yes. we think we don't have time. We're not, you know. Yes, we, or people are afraid. They're afraid to go to the doctor mm -hmm. because they're afraid of what the what mm -hmm. the verdict might be or what exactly. the diagnosis might be. That's a big deal. The earlier you can catch something, the better. Right. It's interesting you're mentioning that. I was listening to I listen to talk radio a lot. I love music, yeah. but I also love to listen she to talk me radio. Me too. I learn a lot. Ninety nine point seven, all yes. kinds of stuff. All the time. Well, Sunday I was listening to talk radio, and um, they he was talking about things like diabetes, things like high blood pressure. 
we are given warning signs of those things in our body way before yes. you ever reach those symptoms that make you go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. So that's a prime example yes. of listening to your body and when you have continuous yeah. headaches or I can't mm -hmm. think of any of the other things at this, at this moment that he was talking about, but you can't just go, oh, that's just a headache, it'll pass. If you have things that are ongoing, that is your body signal telling you, mm -hmm. hey, there's something weird happening here, check mm -hmm. it out. Right. Absolutely. That's what I was saying last week about my feet. Why are my feet yeah. hurting so bad when I sleep? Like they wake that's me up right. at night, mm -hmm. like no circulation. So that's, I still need to go to the doctor, but yeah. I'm changing my diet on my own because I think sometimes mm -hmm. our diet well, is so key to everything. It our is. Behavior, our our moods, our health. Yeah. A healthy gut right. is, is the. And it is. Cool. It's the root of absolute root of everything. Yeah. Well, and many, many times cancers, I think, have symptoms and we ignore them. You might have a pain in your back that just is prolonged and just chronic. It isn't going away and not to be negative, but don't ignore those symptoms because I know of several instances in our lives recently where a cancer diagnosis came along too late mm -hmm. and there were warning signs mm -hmm. well in advance when mm -hmm. some measures could have been taken. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And weird covers a lot of connotations. I also thought about, you know, sometimes we think of people as being weird. And that got me thinking, maybe they're not so weird. Maybe I'm the one that's a little more different and weird. And we, we make our judgments all too often sometimes because people think differently. And, and I've really, in my older age, come to think that it's okay for people to have varying opinions. And not we don't have to agree with everything that another person believes or you know, how they dance or how they, whatever the topic might be. Right, that's it's, what Rebecca was saying. What is normal? Different. Yeah. Where, where does it cross? Who knows who's different? Mm -hmm. Just be more accepting, but you do. I think that you're okay to choose who you want to be around. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're okay to say, maybe you're weird, maybe I'm weird, but we ain't clicking too good. <laughs> right. Well, that's so, why, that won't be who I hang with. Right, that's why you find your own tribe. Now, uh, and speaking of that, yes. did you just see maybe I sent it to y'all and I thought about you guys of course immediately but it said if you find yourself walking on eggshells around mm -hmm. people you are not walking with your tribe there you go that is so true not everybody belongs in your inner yeah. circle and that again is not saying someone's weird or bad mm -hmm. you're fine difference you're, of opinions yeah mm -hmm. right I think yeah. we carry a lot from our childhood experiences into adulthood a lot of, a lot of people don't even realize they make decisions based on mm -hmm. either how they were raised by their parents yeah um, yeah. Things that happen to you as children, good or bad, memorable moments, mm -hmm. and, and you carry that yeah. a lot of times unconsciously, subconsciously mm -hmm. uh, into adulthood. And of course, therapists make a lot of money undoing all that. <laughs> and yeah. us as adults, mm -hmm. they're like thankful when the screwed yeah. up ones walk in their office, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. No, that's true. We think politically because of how we grew up sometimes, or, you know. It's a clock. Oh, it's a clock. Oh, it's a clock. It's a clock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Know, there's also an opportunity, opportunity for change. If you were raised one certain way, mm -hmm. you may, I don't know, maybe there's a likelihood that you'll grow up the same way and be the same way. Yeah. But I also think the flip side of that is, in many cases, you grow up to think, I do not want to be like that. Mm -hmm. In spite exactly of that. in politics. Yeah, yeah in spite I, of that. My thinking today is exactly opposite of how I was raised. Uh -huh. Thankfully. I say thankfully, but one mm -hmm. of my... Um, Memories of childhood, because my father died when I was very young. My mother was very conservative with money. She was raised in a period where, you know, when not all women really worked. It wasn't... We remember she high. saved the yeah. pool whip containers. <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> so, I've always been very um, financially conservative. Because you never knew when the next dollar was coming. We're all self-employed. We don't, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. we get paid as we get our clients. But that, that brings me to my word of the day. Let's go to there. Yeah, let's go to there. Um, and I guess I'll say money because I just left um, Redstone Federal Credit Union. Yeah. They're running a special for a Rutherford County residence through the end of the month where if you open a checking account, there's some things you have to do over the next nine days, but they're giving you $400. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Yeah, well, you I bet you signed up. Did I signed up. <laughs> so you only have, y'all, if you're watching this, yeah. one more day. Because tomorrow's the yeah. 31st. But Rutherford County resident and. Um, I just got a new client who works for Redstone. So nice. Somebody referred him to me. But four hundred dollars yeah. might not be a lot to somebody. That's a lot to me. I might tell my boys, y'all go sign up. So that's really great. I actually belonged to Redstone Arsenal 
right after I got my, or credit union, that is, right after yeah. I got my first job at the age of 16. Oh, wow. Opened up a, an account at Redstone, our Redstone Federal Credit Union. There you go. So it's kind of cool when they came to read it. Yeah, so and what's your word for the day? Oh, gosh. I think my word for the day is just work because that is, that's what we've been doing for the past, I don't know how long, working, uh, working, working. You mean like for... So. 40 years <laughs> yeah yes more so more so the last three or four months as we plan and make this move mm -hmm. and it's just um, a lot of work and as realtors I've always said we should have to sell a house and buy a house about every three years so we don't forget what, what the our process. clients go through in the process that's a good point <clears throat> so it's kind of brought me back full circle and I have the utmost respect for my clients and you know yeah. it's, it's stressful when you're selling and buying Mm -hmm. So and when you're That's building, it's and stressful. Building. But guess what? She was building a fabulous house, by the yeah. way. So mm -hmm. thank yeah. you. I'm, yeah, I can't wait for all of us to invade. Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so well, and here's and, and here's the thing too for you. You're going through that, and like you said, you should remember to go through it. But you're still going through it with so much knowledge mm -hmm. that other people do not have. So they're kind of scared every step of the way. That is true. That's yeah, why that you know true. your phone stays on. You know, bedside alert for them. One thing I always tell my clients, y'all probably do too. I always say, you do not need to worry unless I'm worried. Mm -hmm. And I even thought about hiring one of you ladies or all four or three of you ladies to help me through the process, but I didn't. I thought I'll wing this, I'll get through this, uh -huh. and, and we're getting through it. It's it's working out. It's coming yeah. together. But nonetheless, selling and buying is stressful, mm -hmm. and so it, it helps to be empathetic and sympathetic. Yeah. When those times happen. I think especially when you got new construction because you don't really know your timelines. True. Weather can change that in yeah. a heartbeat. And yeah, everything true. becomes so important when you're building. Like you never stop and look at your hinges and right. your fixtures <laughs> and every little detail. Yeah. Your can lights. Yeah. Every detail is important. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. What's your word? My word right now is clarity. <laughs> I just think that word feels good. <laughs> Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can I find like that. clarity, like I want clarity in clarity in the past, clarity in the future, clarity in why I get up and do what I do. Mm -hmm. When you feel like you really see the meaning of it all, it's just like oh, you can relax, and then you can keep doing it. You know, mm -hmm. I just like the word clarity this week. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. What about you? Not that I have clarity. But All right, so I think this is probably the perfect way to end this lunch because mine is, uh, my work is happy. Mm. That's how I feel today, y'all. It is the no, day before. Look happy. It's the day before <laughs> Halloween. I love you Halloween. Happy, girl? I love yeah. it. It's fun because it brings me back to my childhood, you know, watching all the trick or treaters. We get a ton of them in our neighborhood. And I just mm. think it's so oh. much fun looking at the costumes. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of praying for no rain tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But it's fun. It's you get to be something different. You get to dress up. You get to be weird. You get to be weird and it's okay. So yeah, and and we have a Oh. A visit, oh. just like we did last year. Y'all look up our episode. Oh. Another yeah. visit from the Great Pumpkin. So yeah. Oh. So happy Halloween, and, cheese. and you can tell how busy we are with your work and me looking for clarity and Kathleen looking for her money. And Rebecca is in her costume. And I didn't even think about it. I didn't oh. even think about it. Anyway, oh. yeah. So y'all go be weird and find yeah. your word and. Have a great week. Yeah. Right? Have a great have week. Have a great week. Have a great lunch. Sore. 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 <laughs>